So Keep is Google's very own notes and lists app. You probably know that. Google's Keep's feature set is fairly basic, though it offers a lot of extra functionality you might not be aware of. So we have some tips and tricks that you might not know. So let's guide you through all of the main features that you can use with Google Keep and why it's become a default notes app for a lot of people out there. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. At the very forefront of the different things that you can do with Google Keep is none other than create a note. Of course, that note doesn't just have to be a straightforward set of sentences or a little bit of text. While the Keep app on mobile has a colorful plus button at the bottom, you also notice four others to the left of that. These are note categories ranging from a checklist to a photo. You also have the ability here to create a voice memo with the microphone icon. You can draw a quick doodle on top of that too if you prefer to do that. And these four buttons allow you to start a note with any of these particular items, though they can be added after the fact if you wish. The checklist category is pretty straightforward and possibly the most often used within the application if you've touched it before. This is great for creating simple to do item lists or maybe shopping options for yourself. And when an item is marked, it moves down to the bottom of this list and it's marked so that you can focus on those unchecked items. Perhaps the most underappreciated category though is the drawing saved as a note. The paintbrush icon opens up a small blank canvas, which allows you to start doodling in any fashion that you want. It's a fun version of a keep note that is not used as often as others. And it's something that might be useful if you say, for instance, want to maybe draw something that you're potentially going to buy. Maybe you need to take a note of a room layout. It's really useful in those instances and more on top of that. Adding a URL is also even more impressive to keep notes when you enable the rich previews option. And this simply brings up a little excerpt of the content if that site that you've linked there supports the functionality. Either way, it's a really visually distinct way to see your saved notes. And it's great if you add lists of websites or particular things you may want to purchase, as you'll see a small preview of those underneath or above it. If you're in a rush, one thing we do think you need to know about is that you can create a quick note by hitting the microphone icon. Doing so will allow you to record this quick clip, which will then be transcribed into a text note itself. You'll still have the audio recording available to play under this original note that has been transcribed. So for whatever reason, the or if the audio itself sounds muddy or like it's been highly compressed, then at least the audio is kept here if you don't want to refer to that at a later date. The audio though in the Keep app is nothing like you'd see in the Recorder app on Pixel phones, but it's still definitely useful in a lot of situations when you want to take things down quickly. You can also create a note with an image by hitting that picture icon, and this allows you to take or choose an image from your phone or your computer, wherever you've made this, and head an image with that leading photo. You may know this one already, but it is also worth noting that you can change Keep to follow your on-device system theme or set it manually if you wish. The reason why we're suggesting this is that sometimes it's just useful as notes themselves and particularly checklists can be harder to decipher in dark mode or light mode, which will depend on your personal preference or if you do have any vision related ailments. It's something to definitely head into the settings of that side hamburger menu and adjust that as you see fit. Beyond basic note creation features, Google Keep also makes it easy to manage and organize your notes based upon your preferences. You can do this by setting up a slew of labels within the app itself and each with a different topic. Whenever you create a list, you can assign those labels to your notes by hitting the three dot menu at the bottom and then hitting labels. Those labels will appear in the note itself and under each one in your preview mode. With that, you can easily identify what each note pertains to without having to skim through every piece of content that you've created recently. On top of that, you can search based upon each of these labels. In the search bar at the top of the application, there will be a label section. Hit more to see all of your labels and choose the category that you're looking for. It looks like Keep Caps this section at six notes, so you may have to type the label name into search bar, into that search bar, sorry, if you don't see what you're looking for at first glance. Alternatively, you can hit that side hamburger menu to sort between notes and reminders if you set them there, which are also really useful too, as they can sync with the at a glance widget on Pixel phones, but it doesn't always work perfectly. It's a bit hit and miss, but it does work. You can trust me on that. 
Beyond label creation, you can also set a theme and color for each individual note that you've taken. To do this, simply head into a note, tap the color palette icon, and then choose a look that suits you best. You can choose both a color and a design and they'll combine, with the former complementing the artwork that's been chosen. Some themes though do make it difficult to see text, that's something that we would mention that you'd be wary of, though we would say Keep's upcoming format and update should allow users to make text a little bit easier to see. Keep also takes a play from the likes of Google Drive in that you can share notes with others, such as your contacts, and once shared they'll be able to see and edit a live version of this note so that every change will be reflected for each participant, and we think this is particularly useful when you're making shopping lists with a family member or friend, something that we would highly recommend doing. On a note, to enable this, just hit the people icon, then type in a person's name or email, depending on whether in the contact book, and then hit save. The person that you've invited or you've shared this note with will then get an email to access that note. From there, this will be available in their Keep Notes app, where they'll be able to edit and make changes accordingly. As we've just mentioned, Google Keep is also fully capable of taking things like reminders and then syncing them with your Google account, making this a great way to set reminders on the go. With that, you'll then see them in your calendar and any events where they do show up. Here's how to create a reminder in Google Keep though. What you want to do is you want to choose an existing or even create a new note, then tap the bell icon. From here, you can choose a preset time or location or just adjust this as you want to do so. With that, whenever that time comes or when you do arrive at a certain place, for instance, like the supermarket, you'll be notified about that reminder and the note will be part of that notification. This is a great way to create reminders that have a little more detail since you can add images, checklists, or even those rich link previews as we mentioned. So that's more or less everything you need to know about Google Keep. Sure, it's a pretty simple tool with just a few features to speak of, but because of that, it's easy to use across your devices and it works across PC, Mac, Windows, your Android phone, your iOS phone and iPad, and much more on top of that if you have browser access. It doesn't have a whole host of things that some other applications out there, but it isn't just limited to making lists. We must make that clear. In the future though, Google is planning on bringing more features through this current application, but this is what we'll see at least for a little while longer. And we wanted to share some of our favorite functionality. I wanna ask you though, what's your favorite feature in Google Keep? Or do you have something that we've flat out missed? Let us know down in the comment sections below. Until next time though, this is Damien with 95 Google, and I will speak to you later.